For the last four and a half years, we've been following the journey of Trenton Bass. The Hills, Minnesota athlete was hurt during a football game and suffered a spinal injury. That was back in 2017. In tonight's Island Kelland, we're checking back in with Trenton as he reaches another milestone in his life. Trenton Bass! After four years at South Dakota State University, Trenton Bass has received his diploma. I wasn't expecting the, uh, the feeling afterwards. Uh, after graduation, I was like, Holy cow, I'm done. That was a really good feeling. His family was there to cheer him on. A lot of emotion because this uh, is, is, uh, wasn't an easy journey, I'm sure, be, you know. And he had the additional struggles beyond regular college. For any college student, it's a big accomplishment. But this milestone is a little more special for Trenton. Not even a year after his injury on the football field, he left home for college. We were there as he first moved into his dorm on campus. The first year was uh, pretty difficult just getting used to uh, not only living with my injury, but you know, going off into college and doing my own thing with um, just a whole new sense of independence and trying to gain that throughout the four years. Doctors, I know, I remember them telling me that um, it was really unusual for a kid like that to go on that fast. Um, usually they take a little time to adjust to, you know, their body and getting used to their new normal. But um, yeah, Trenton was determined to just go and he didn't want to sit around and you know feel sorry for himself. Over the next four years, Trenton worked to earn his degree in mechanical engineering. I've always just liked how things worked. I kind of grew up with my dad doing construction and in the shop and kind of stuff. So that's really where it started and then I had a doctor who kind of challenged me who to go into it. And so that's kind of a combination of all of the things. Between classes and navigating college life, Trenton says taking things day by day and his faith have helped him persevere. Each year just got easier. I was getting more and more independent each year. Um, I was getting more comfortable with myself and the campus and, you know, driving and stuff like that. So that just kind of made the classes go easier too. Since he's graduated, Trenton's been applying for jobs and he also plans to continue speaking to church groups and helping out with his family's nonprofit, Game Plan for Hope, which helps others who are going through a life changing experience. I went to hospitals and just talked to the people who were there um, with Samson, my dog, just talking to them and giving that inspiration, just kind of thinking of what I wanted to hear when I was in that situation. Um, but now that I'm done with college, I'll have more time to do that. When you're first in, you know, a life changing situation, um, it's, yeah, you don't know what to expect, but to have somebody come in who's been there um, and just give them hope, um, that's what everybody has said that has talked to him is that I remember Trenton coming to the hospital and it just gave me so much hope. So through many ups and downs, Trenton is ready to begin this next part of his life. By sharing his story, he hopes he can give some hope to others. He's definitely inspired, you know, not only our community and our family, but surrounding communities too. We hope that he continues to do that. Throughout this whole thing, my biggest thing has been just take it one day at a time. With Eye on Kello Land, I'm Sarah McDonald. Coming up next, the Jackrabbits won the Summit League Championship.